everyone! Today, we're going to study multiplication by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. Did you know that goldfish are a common household pet? They are easy to take care and do not need a lot of attention. They remain gold when kept in a pond or in a bowl with enough lighting. But goldfish lose their color if they are kept in dim light or if they are placed in a body of running water such as a stream. So always remember children that you need to take care of your pets at home. Is that clear? The Saldo family owns a pet shop. In the fish section, there are five fish bowls with three goldfish in each. For us to find the total number of fishes, we need to write first the multiplication sentence. In writing the multiplication sentence, the first factor is the number of groups. So let's count how many groups do we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since we have 5 fish bowls, we will have 5 number of groups. Then let's have the second factor. The second factor stands for the number of objects in each group. So how many goldfish do we have in each fish bowl? That's correct, it's 3. So 5 times 3, what is the total number of objects? Or what is the total number of goldfish? That's correct, it's 15. So that means children, 5 fish bowls times 3 goldfish in each aquarium is equal to 15 goldfish in all. To find the product when a number is multiplied by 3, we can also skip count by 3 just like this. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So, 5 times 3 is equal to 15. How about if we have this? 3 times 8 is equal to blank. So, you're going to skip count by 8 until you reach the third multiple. But just in case, if you don't know the skip counting by 8, you can also use 8 times 3. Since 3 times 8 is equal to 8 times 3 using the commutative property. Do you still remember that? Very good. So let's use 8 times 3, then let's keep count by 3 until we reach the 8th multiple. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So that means 3 times 8 is equal to 24. How about if we have this? To find the total number of cookies, we need to write first the multiplication sentence. Again, children, the first factor is the number of groups. How many groups do we have here? That's correct, it's 4. How about the second factor? How many cookies do we have in each plate? That's correct, it's 5. So, 4 times 5, what is the total number of objects? Okay, let's use the skip counting by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. So, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. How about if we have this one? 5 times 7 is equal to blank. So let's use the skip counting by 7, or if you don't know the skip counting by 7, we can simply use 7 times 5. Because according to commutative property, even though you interchange the position of the two factors, their product will remain the same. So we can also use 7 times 5 to answer 5 times 7. So 7 times 5, let's keep count by 5 until we reach the 7th multiple, 5. 10, 15, 
20, 25, 30, 35. So, 5 times 7 is equal to 35. How about if we have this one? 8 times 2 is equal to blank. So, children, let's keep count by 2 until we reach the 8th number. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So, 8 times 2 is equal to 16. How about if we have this one? 3 times 2 is equal to blank. Again, let's keep count by 2 until we reach the third multiple. 2, 4, 6. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. How about if we have this one? 6 times 4 is equal to blank. So again, what keep counting are we going to use here? That's correct. We're going to use keep counting by 4. So let's keep count by 4 until we reach the 6th multiple. Let's do it together. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Let's have the next number. 8 times 4 is equal to blank. Let's keep count by 4 until we reach the 8th multiple. 4, let's do it together children. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. Yes, that's it. It's 32. So 8 times 4 is equal to 32. How about if we have this one? 7 times 10 is equal to blank. So let's keep count by 10 until we reach the 7th multiple. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 7 times 10 is equal to 70. How about if you have this? 9 times 10 is equal to blank. What is the product? Let's keep count by 10 until we reach the 9th multiple. 10. Let's do it together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 9 times 10 is equal to 90. So now get your drill board. Faster. So here, children, I want you to write the product as fast as you can. Is that clear? Let's have the first number. 3 times 9 is equal to... What is the answer? That's correct! It's 27! How about if we have this? 5 times 10 is equal to... The answer is 50. How about the third one? 7 times 3 is equal to faster. The product is good job. It's 21. How about if we have this? 8 times 5 is equal to The product is 40. Very good, children. How about the last number? 10 times 10 is equal to... The product is 100. Fantastic! So always remember, to find the product of two numbers, keep counting may be used. And skip counting is the same as counting by multiples. And I want you to memorize your multiplication table by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. Is that clear?